Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and we are going to talk about some drugstore lipsticks in summer. Like I think about two or three months ago, I tried one of these lipsticks from Catrice. It's the Shine Bomb line. I have all the shades that are available here and I'm going to swatch them and talk to you about the formula. I think this formula is like the best drugstore lipstick formula I have ever tried from anyone. And also the shades are like, I feel like they are made for me. So just that you know, I'm super fair and I have a cool undertone. And what is hard to find for me is a lighter nude lipstick shade because usually they tend to be still pretty deep on me. So there usually aren't any ones that are light enough for me. And usually they are also way too warm toned for me. So to find like a really neutral or even cool toned leaning nude lipstick is like a miracle to me at this point. And I, I just found it in this collection and I found multiple ones. So I was just excited and then the formula is so good. It's a sheer, creamy, shiny formula, like it's called Shine Bomb. So it really is shiny, it's moisturizing, it feels so good on the lips and it looks so good. Sometimes I don't have like the biggest lips and I also don't have the most pigmented lips and sometimes a sheer light nude lipstick on me looks really weird or like, you know, creeps into fine lines or something, or I don't know, they often don't look good on me. And I don't know what it is with this formula, but they just look good. And it, it's, it's amazing. I was like so surprised and I was really, really not like <laughs> thinking it could be like it. So I was super happy. And then I decided to try more of the shades. And although I knew that some of the shades maybe aren't for me, there were none that were like just super warm toned neutrals, which is kind of the only shade that I really cannot use on me because it looks, it doesn't look good because it doesn't go with my skin tone at all. So on my lips, like that's a color that I cannot not even try to make work. Like with eyeshadows, I feel like I can always find a way, but I don't like it either, but I can find a way to make it work. But on my lips, I feel like there's no room for, for anything. So yeah, so warm tone neutrals, very difficult for me. And there is none in this lipstick line. So if you are a warm tone neutral lipstick lover, then this definitely isn't the collection for you. They also did create some very, very interesting and exciting colors. So either that, I mean, at the drugstore, you usually have like some regular shades that they all have, but nothing too like crazy. And the interesting thing is that also the, the fun and poppy colors in this range, I can still use them. I don't know what it is, but this formula makes them all so good that I can use them. Although I don't like the color or I wouldn't ever use a color like this. Like there's like a light orangey color, a super purpley color. Like that's not what I use typically, but this lipstick just looks good in every color. So it's the best drugstore lipstick I have ever tried. And formula wise, I would say they are very close to the Lisa Eldridge luxuriously loosened lipstick line. And I will do some swatches in the end where I compare them. And then also the Charlotte Tilbury Kissing line is also a very similar formula. So if you like these a bit sheerer, creamy and shiny lipsticks that are more moisturizing than matte ones, then maybe you find a shade in this range for you. So now I'm going to start the swatching and at the end we will do some comparisons to higher end lipsticks. So the first one we have is called, what is it called? Everyday Favorite. And it's a super light, beigey, neutral lipstick. And it's the number 10. You can see on my skin, it almost doesn't show up. 
because it's so close to my own skin tone. So this is the lightest one and this one is like a really, really light lipstick on me. So like on anyone else that is at least a bit deeper than me, this will be super light on you. So it's like one of those where when you want that kind of look where you really have super light nudie lips, then this is perfect for that. Then the next one, 020, is Blush Nude. This one here is kind of the perfect color for me. It's still a bit on the lighter side, but I feel like this lipstick is one that I can just put on without having a mirror or anything and reapplying it. And I love that. So really happy for this one. So just a tiny bit deeper and a bit more warm. Then we have the shade 030 Divine Femininity. I love this shade name. So this one here is a bit more on the mauve neutral side. And it's also one of my most used ones. So I think these two here I use the most. This one here is number 040 and it's called Secret Crush. And this one here, you can see that's now a true mauve lipstick. Mauve is not a color that I love on my lips. I don't know why. I mean, I have a cool undertone. I don't really get it, but maybe it's too samey samey with my skin tone. So I don't know why, but with mauves, I always look like older. <laughs> I know, crazy, why? I don't really reach for mauves a lot, but it is a beautiful shade of mauve. And if I ever wanted to use a mauve, I would definitely go for this one in this formula. Then the next one is a bit more of a pinky one. This one here is 050 and it's called Rosy Overdose. I hope that you can see the true difference between them because this is definitely more of a rosy tone. You can see like my nail polish. <laughs> it's um, it's also called like, I think it's vintage rose or something. And like, it looks way more than like this shade here than this one here. This one pulls more mauve and this one is more of a rose color. And I love this one. So these five here are our most like our lightest and our most neutral shades. So now we get into more fun pops of color. The next one here is 060 and it's called Blooming Coral. This one here is not really a coral, I would say. It's more like an orange, a light peachy orange. I'm going to swatch it here. Yeah, and you can see it. It's actually, it's pretty um, bright. Here on, on in my viewfinder, it looks more corally than I experience it in like when I see it with my eyes in real life. And this one here is a bit, um, it has a thing that I don't like about it. And I don't know why, but this is the only one of them that has some tiny tiny golden sparkle running through it and i feel like orange is like um difficult enough for me to wear but golden sparkle is really not not good looking on me i can still make it work because it's not very intense it's just there so when i blot it down a bit then it kind of disappears and yeah i actually can use it so if i ever want a light orangey color this one here is the one I'm going to reach for. Then our next one is 070 and it's called Mystic Lavender. This one here is a purple and it's such an unusual lipstick color for me. Um, I found it so interesting to see Catrice do like these fun colors in their line. And like this lipstick formula, the Shine Bomb lipsticks, they are part of their permanent line. So it's not like they have these colors for a, a limited time or something. It's just like they're part of the permanent line. And I think that's so cool and so fun. And yeah, I haven't seen a lot of drugstore brands like do something like it. So you can see it's a super intense purple lavender shade. 
and I don't know what it is, but I can wear it. I mean, it's of course still like a color and not a nude and it's like, you know, it, it kind of, it is an intense lipstick color for me because it is so unusual and so purple that it really doesn't go into any way of like, like a mauve or, or a pink. It's really straight up purple and super bright. But still, because of the creamy formula, I feel like I can pull it off sometimes, like when I'm in the mood for it. I feel like now we are going more into the pinks and reds and in the more like bright colors or a bit more darker colors. So this one here is 080 and it's called Scandalous Pink and that's exactly what it is. So it's a very bright, a bit of a deeper pink on me. I'm going to swatch it here. And you can see it's very intense and it, it is deeper. It has like the deepest base out of all of the ones that we tried. It is also more opaque than the other ones. So I feel like the lipsticks that are coming now, beginning with this one here, I would say they are not the ones I reach for the most because usually when I go for color for like bright, deeper reds and pinks, then I tend to go with a matte lipstick. So for me, this first row and these two here, it's where this lipstick line is at. But if you are a fan of these lipsticks, if you like a more sheer creamy formula, if you don't mind like, you know, babysit it a bit, then I think it's a beautiful color. And sometimes when I'm like doing my makeup at home and I'm not really going outside or I only go to like, you know, do some uh, grocery shopping or something, then like places where I don't eat or I don't mind, um, then I tend to use these lipsticks because they are so comfortable on the lips and they feel so moisturizing and good. So when I want like a uh, color like this, then I tend to reach for them. Okay, so this has been scandalous pink. And then we have a classic red. It's the shade 090 and it's called Queen of Hearts. And it's a very pretty red. It's very pretty and I feel like it is like a classic red, but it doesn't pull too like blue toned and it doesn't pull orange toned it's right in the middle and it's super neutral and i feel like that's a red that could really work on everyone because the shade is so like <laughs> such a neutral red if that's even possible and yeah i think it's a beautiful opaque color same as with the pink i just tend to wear bright colors more in a matte formula but other than that these are super nice. Before they expanded the shade range, this one here was the deepest one and the last lipstick in their range. And it is 100 and it's called Cherry Bomb. So you can see it's a super pretty deep berry tone. And funny enough, I know I said that like bright and deeper lipsticks, I tend to wear more in the matte formula. But this one here, it it just works for me. I don't know. I mean, like a color like this, I typically blot it down to make it not so deep and intense on me. So that works perfectly with this formula. And I reach for this one more than I do for, for like these four here. So this is also one of my favorites. So number 100, Cherry Bomb. Then right when I wanted to film this video, like in the beginning of September, um, they expanded the shade range with one shade. And so then I bought it and just wanted to include it in this video. This shade here is number 110. And if I would like sort them color wise, this would have been in the first round, like with the first five lipsticks, I would say, because it's a super light pinky tone. And I hope that you can see it. Yes, I think you can see it. This is like a very light bubblegum pink. And you can see it's like even lighter than these two here. So it would fit in like here, I think. Or maybe with the more colorful ones, maybe here. So yeah, 
they added this one here, uh, more like a cool toned bubblegum pink. This is not a color I gravitate towards. I love warmer pinks instead of cooler pinks. And I think like it's the same reason like with the moths. Something about them, it's just off when I use them. So they're not the best colors for me, but I think there is a market for this one. I do hope that they expand the shade range even more because the formula is just so good and I feel like there is a lot missing in this range, like more warm toned neutrals, more brownish tones. We don't have anything that is really brown in here and maybe something a bit more grungy, grayish leaning. So I feel like they could do a lot with this range, but because it is their permanent collection, I kind of don't imagine them to expand it even more because I feel like um, that's like the most different shades that Catrice does in one collection or in one formula. It's not like a brand that does like, I don't know, 30 different ones. So I, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do in the future. Maybe they are discontinuing some of these and then adding something new. We will have to wait and see. And yes, so that's it from me for today. And I hope that this video was like helpful or just entertaining. I always love to watch like swatching videos of lipsticks and of like a full range because I feel like when I see the colors next to each other, all next to each other, then I can decide better which shade is actually good for me, especially if I have to buy something online and I can't see it in store. These I could see in store, so that wasn't the point with them. But like when I think about Lisa Eldridge, for example, I mean, I can only get them online. I love watching swatching videos and see colors side by side. And then I can better like find out what shade they are actually are going to be. Um, but still, I prefer to see the lipsticks in store and to swatch them and to really see how they are going with my skin tone. So if you just only can order Catrice online and you were thinking about some of these, then I hope that this video was a bit helpful for you and I hope that you enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed filming it. I just, I don't know, this formula is so good and I love them so much. I just couldn't not talk about them because they're just too good for that. So I feel like I had to let you all know that's like my duty here on YouTube. So thank you all so, so much for watching. I wish you all a beautiful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.